University gets its game winner 92 seconds into overtime from senior Henry Thomas to record a 2-1 to one win over Gilmore on Friday night in the Kent District Final uh, here at uh, Kent State. Uh, not as packed as it was uh, earlier tonight to be sure, but uh, what an electric atmosphere and what a great game. Another instant classic between these two neighborhood rivals, Gilmore and U.S. Uh, just a great game all the way around and what a moment uh, for Henry Thomas. Young man hadn't scored a goal all year. The senior scores his first goal of the year in a district final to send us to another frozen four what a, an amazing moment uh, for that young man one that uh, i'm sure he'll savor for a long long time as far as the way the game played out uh, us was tenacious and did well uh, along the boards just like they did in the semi and just like they have uh, all year setting a good tone along the boards Gilmore came out physical, uh, did a nice job in that regard. It kind of uh, waned off a little bit as that first period went along, but they got back to it at times there in the second and third. Uh, the goaltending was steady uh, between U.S.'s Critter Coglin and Gilmore's Toby Herlong, who uh, both had some nice saves there in the second period when it was still a low-scoring dogfight. George Brin opens the scoring for U.S. with a nice snappy wrister between the circles to make it a one nothing hockey game. But Gilmore does well uh, there in the third period to get the tying goal. You kind of got the feeling that a shorthanded goal was going to come along the way that uh, that the penalty kills were sweeping at the top of the zone and sure enough Evan Enrich's able to chip a puck into the neutral zone uh, skate in and do well with a wrist or top shelf to make it a 1-1 game and that's where it stays going into overtime uh, U.S. the second and third line play has been great all year uh, for, for large stretches of this year I should say and has really been developing well obviously everybody knows that first line with Muha and Sada and Tyler Ault uh, but that second and third line play has really developed well uh, John Pape had himself a nice game here in the district final. Uh, Andrew Rosenstraka had a nice game as well. Obviously, Henry Thomas with the game winner. A lot of different guys stepping up in uh, big moments for U.S., and that's been the formula for them a lot of these times that they've gone to the Frozen Four. Uh, guys that you wouldn't necessarily expect to be the ones who score the big goals, come up with the big goals, and uh, sure enough, in this sequence, uh, Henry Thomas, like I said, who hadn't scored a goal all year, comes up with a big goal there. Uh, I'm sorry to see it end like this uh, for Gilmore. 30-win uh, campaign, uh, uh, GLHL regular season champs uh, obviously have turned the program around here in the last couple of years uh, with the quality that they've put on the ice after uh, you know that four win campaign three years ago they've they really had a rough go of it but they've really really established the program well here in, in the last couple of years and the senior class should be very proud of that uh, guys like Dominic Casamata, Evan Enric, uh, Charlie Valenti, uh, Eamon Mulkern um, those guys definitely deserve a lot of credit for uh, what they've done in instilling a culture in this program that will hopefully carry forward but <coughs> excuse me uh us uh hey they uh you know there were times where we were concerned from a one loss standpoint but they found their way in the second half of the year like they have so many times over the years and uh, put it together when it mattered uh, performed well at the Cleveland Cup, giving Holy Name a dogfight in the final, advancing to the final with a head-to-head -head win over Gilmore. And they get down to the Kent District, and they put it together one more time, and they're heading back down to Columbus after an exciting 2-1 to win uh, over Gilmore in a well-played Kent District final on Friday night.